Yo guys, what's up? Today we are gonna show you the top 10 foods you may not know that exist for a keto diet. And if we've missed any, let us know down below and we'll have to give those a try as well. Let's get to it. Oh my God, two at a time. So, so the first one, and these look a little weird, is jicama. So jicama is a root vegetable. I've tried it out. My favorite way to do it is fries. Wait, if it grows below the ground, it's not for keto. Well, this one is. Check out the macros online. You can quickly Google jicama and you'll find them. These can totally be keto friendly and they make great fry substitutes. They do give me a little gas though. That'll be the one caveat I say. But yeah, try jicama out. It's not, it's not easy to find, I would say, but if you do find it, I highly recommend it. Then we have the forgotten meat, duck. Probably the most delicious meat there is. It's a mixture between birds and fish. I don't think it really is. It's mostly bird. It's really good. And the thing is, look at this right here. We got a little frozen duck breast. The amount of fat you get on it, quite intense. It fries up really nicely. You can cook it like a nice medium rare. If you get the chance to give it a try, I know in the US, not many people really eat duck. Next, we have peanut flour. So peanut flour is great. I mean, if you have like a tree nut allergy, this is a great option. And it's really strong in peanut flavor, like peanut butter flavor. So if you make a loaf with it, and we actually have a recipe using this, it's like a cream cheese peanut butter loaf, super good. Then you're gonna get a strong peanut butter flavor. It's the forgotten flour. Mm, oh my God, it smells like peanut butter. Can they see in there? Yeah. So the macros for this one fourth cup is for fat eight carbs and four fiber, and then 16 protein. So four net carbs, and the only ingredient is roasted peanuts. Mm. So give this a try. We get ours just on Amazon. Next up, we got coconut manna. It's also known as coconut butter. This is really good. It's really high in fat, little bit of carbs also. So for one tablespoon, it's nine fat, three carbs, two fiber, one protein. So one net carb, one sugar. It's kind of like peanut butter consistency, except even a little firmer than that. It's really good though, has a nice subtle sweetness to it. And not a lot of people know about it, I feel like. So this is definitely one that you could give a try. You can use it for fat bombs for desserts, and then you need to use less stevia for those. Sometimes I even put it in my bulletproof coffee. Next up is different kinds of fruit powders. Sounds really weird but we have this blueberry extra, extract powder and fat bombs, smoothies, um, mug cakes. It adds a ton of blueberry flavor and you're not getting like all the sugar and the carb from using blueberries. So it's, it's a flavor enhancer without the fruit itself. I'm sure they have like a strawberry one and like a raspberry one. So definitely give some fruit powders a try. In the same spirit as the fruit powders, we have nut oils. These are very similar to the blueberry powder. You can just add a small amount of these and get an extreme amount of flavor. You know, some people will say stay away from nut oils, they're high omega-6, but you just need a little dash of this and you get a ton of flavor. Fat bombs, cookies, things like that. Just a really small amount goes a long way and they have all different kinds on Amazon and even I've seen them at Walmart. They got macadamia nut oil. They have pecan oil, walnut oil, they have peanut, they have almond, hazelnuts, got them all. Next up, we have one of my faves, halloumi. So this is a super delicious frying cheese. So you normally just slice it up, you heat it in a skillet, both sides, it gets like nice and crispy, it's so good. I love eating it with cherry tomatoes, it's super fresh that way. And the macros are for one ounce, seven fat and six protein. So similar to every other cheese on the market. The downside is that it can be pretty expensive. We only find it in Whole Foods for the most part and it's pretty expensive. But any frying cheese like queso fresco or something like that is also really delicious and on the cheaper side. Next up we got kefir, some people say kefir, I don't know how to pronounce it. I say kefir. This is coconut milk kefir. You know, some kefir can be quite high in carbs. If you go to Whole Foods or Kroger or whatever, and you get like the Good Belly. Is that what it's called? Good yeah, belly. I think so. Those are just like sugary and really high in carbs. Um, but this I've actually found at Whole Foods and we order this locally. It's a Georgia company. You can probably find something similar in your area. Kefir made from coconut milk and it's two carbs per quarter cup. It's And it's super delicious, really high in fat 
and it's a fermented food, so you know it has good probiotics. It can be tough to find a low carb keto friendly one though, so do some searching on that. Another great find is paneer. So obviously I'm not holding it because we couldn't find it locally around us, but if you find it, give it a grab. It's similar to a frying cheese. It is, it is paneer is Indian cheese. So what's great about it is that it has a consistency of tofu, but it's not actually tofu. It's a lot heartier. And so it's also a great substitute that people use in India uh, instead of meat. So like where my family's from, they don't eat meat, but they eat a ton of paneer. So it's like high in protein. It's, it's a good amount of fat and it's really, really delicious pan seared in curries or just eaten on its own. And then last up guys, we have a substitute. This is sauerkraut, but the actual food is kimchi, but I guess both of them are kind of not that popular but they're both really good for keto. If you get some, they will add sugar to it. But if you get a high quality one, like this one, for example, it's Bubby's. It only has cabbage and well water and salt. You know, really good ingredients. Another fermented food, good for your gut bacteria, all that jazz. Kimchi, I would say tastes a little better because it's spicy, but both of these are really good. Not a lot of people know about them. Good stuff though, good addition to your diet. A lot of times I'll have like a steak or something, I'll just cook the meat and I don't really feel like preparing a vegetable for the side. This is already prepared. You just eat it right out of the jar. Next. Next up, we got miracle noodles for the poodles. Just kidding, it's, just, it's for humans actually, human consumption. Um, so you might not have ever heard of miracle noodles, shirataki noodles, um, new pasta. There's a lot of different ones out there, but it's basically zero calories. Um, all it is made of is a, it's called cognac fiber. So it's a fiber, so it's like, it's one carb, two fiber, that doesn't make sense. It's probably two carb, two fiber, and um, it's an alternative to pasta, alternative to rice. I think it takes some getting used to, but I really like it. I like to do it savory and Matt likes to do it sweet. So he'll like blend up the miracle rice in a blender and add like MCT oil powder and heavy cream and just like make a delicious, like, what is it? Like grits or oatmeal? Cream of wheat. Like a cream of wheat consistency. So you can really do whatever you want with these. Last up guys, we have cacao nibs. A lot of you have probably heard of this. It's like, you know, touted for all of the health benefits, but basically it's really bitter chocolate chips, basically. Um, it takes some getting used to, and some people eat these on their own. I don't know. I don't really like them like that. You can put them in place of chocolate chips and chocolate chip cookies. It just does take some getting used to. It's like chocolate with absolutely no sweetness to it. You can also get cacao powder, which is basically cacao nibs ground into a powder. You can use that instead of cocoa powder. It's a little bit healthier, a little bit more of a wholer food. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's uh, 90 calories, seven fat, four carb, three fiber, two protein. So that is it guys. Those are 12 foods. Maybe you've never heard of. You've probably heard of at least half of them, but comment below with anything we missed. There's probably a really good one that we missed. If you come up with it, I'll pin your post to the top. All right, guys, thanks for watching.